Hello everyone, welcome back to Court of Swords. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been a, it's yeah. been a little while. It's been a month? Sure I can't remember the last time the show was. I don't either. It was yeah, a week. It was the week that Blades premiered, so that was at least three weeks ago. Yeah. At least four. I bet, if, I bet if we ask Jeff, he'll remember. Yeah, Jeff will remember. He died last episode. That's why he's no longer here. Oh, uh, damn, the video actually looks good this time. What the hell? Yeah, it looks all right. Am I think I it's because we have four person? people instead of five. It's because there's less of us. Yep. Yeah. It could yep. be, yeah. Yeah. Also, I'm not this pasty white. Let's just put that out there. I don't. I am white, but for whatever reason, Zoom's making me look like this. There, it's out there. We can resume. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. It's less about Zoom. It's more about the the light bulbs that you have. They're not studio they're they're normal light bulbs yeah they're they're i mean they they're are harsh light they're like photography light bulbs yeah so like mm -hmm. they're super super like daylight color yeah yeah the lumens or whatever the fuck it is on which them. is fine lumens no, uh, fine. lumens are a measure of uh brightness it's a uh, k that's the, it's the yeah what is it what does the k stand for because i say kelvin on a on accident <laughs> and it's uh, not uh doesn't it, doesn't it stand for lumens or luminosity or something like that that's what I just said. I'm so sorry. Uh, limit, limit your brightness. It's Kelvin. It is Kelvin. Oh, it's Kelvin? Color, color temperature is measured. color temperature, right? Oh, yeah, color right. temperature is measured in Kelvin. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's what it is. We learn something new every day. And if you want to know the golden number, it's 5,600. That's what all broadcasters should strive for is 5,600 lights. They're also stupid expensive. <laughs> for whatever reason, they jack the price up on 5,600K lights. Just do it digitally. It's just good. Yeah, I mean these are the fifty. These are fifty six hundred K LEDs, and each light was like three hundred bucks. So, Hold on. bear with me here while you see this nonsense. You could probably go and adjust that to turn the white balance down. Cybermax. Is that a G twenty? Yeah. It's a G thirty. Yeah. Oh yeah, G thirty. Yeah, bump We're that up fifty six hundred. Let's go to let's go to fifty six hundred. Fifty six hundred is the magic number. I oh, guarantee. Oh, you already look better. There you go. Solved it. Boom. <laughs> Nailed it. You're just really bright. That's fine. It's fine. All right, let me get rid of that real quick. Boom. A little, yep. little behind-the-scenes action. There you go. <laughs> magic. It's magic right magic there. Magic of photography. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about some more magic. Dan, you beat World of Final Fantasy. Yes, I did. You did what I couldn't do in a billion years, and that stick with one game for that long. Yeah, it was, that game, I thought I had beat it three times, and it was like, Final boss, beat oh, it. So it's Japanese then. Oh, another 20 hours. Okay. But the game's like, it breaks the fourth wall a lot. So they probably were just yeah. like, it's the end of the game. And then it wasn't, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like the la the second last time, credits rolled and everything. And then it was like, wait, that wasn't really the end. Jesus. <laughs> we're rewinding time. Yeah. That's, what that was, was some, uh, yeah, that's some egregious JRPG shit. They do that yeah. all the time. Yeah. Yeah. What was your favorite? Uh, I forgot what they're called that you capture. Pokemon. What was your favorite Pokemon in the game? They're called Mirages. Mirages. That's right. right. Sorry. I only yeah. played for like 10 hours. I forgot. They're not Pokemon. That's totally different. Okay. <laughs> what was your favorite one? <laughs> uh, Behemoth. He was just a juggernaut of destruction. The big. Oh, oh, you, you got him to the max level. Yeah. The max I, form I, or I whatever. Him, like, I. I like the the they have like an extra extra large size which you you can summon later. Oh, uh, you can have like these extra larges that are like more powerful than two stacks combined. I never saw that. Yeah, that's a feature they unlock later. But I kept him as just a large on the bottom, like his before that form, and he was just kick major ass. Okay, there you go. Use the behemoth guys or the behemoth, yeah. depending on how you pronounce it, incorrectly yeah, or correctly. World of Final Fantasy is if you any of you like Final Fantasy or turn-based RPGs, it's a really fun game, and I recommend. It is, yeah. And then uh, for Dishonored 2, are you running the, the console version? Uh, PC version. Are, did you run into any issues? Uh, no, I have a 1080, and it, I didn't notice any problems really. I turned off uh, NBA O Plus, um, yeah. and it ran just fine. Man, I'm, I'm running like 1080 SLI, and like I was getting like 20 frames. That's your problem right there, SLI. Even, even if I bump it down, though, it's still shit. Like, That's uh, weird. Yeah. I don't know. Also, oh. the NVIDIA drivers work. Uh, the Sorry, the, the game-ready NVIDIA drivers have SLI working for it, so I don't know. Apparently, there was a patch today that might have made it better. I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they said they're going to be releasing a patch soon to address a lot of stuff. Yeah. SLI is cool. I just having done SLI in the past. I don't know if it's any better. I can't speak to, like, SLI it's nowadays. It's not. But... It is for some games. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's, it's great when it's, like, running perfect, but then it's... For me, it usually just adds like another yeah. point of failure, troubleshooting, and I have to fuck with. So I'm just 
Yeah. It's it's really on the developers to work with yeah. NVIDIA to get them working or to get SLI like to be mm-hmm. beneficial. Like if you go play Overwatch, I'll get like double the FPS if I'm running SLI in that game. But yeah. it, like if you go play I don't know, a game that doesn't have SLI, it's like usually less. Yeah, it's worth it for those games that, that, that definitely support it. Like you, you see the performance boost, yeah. but yeah. But general rule of thumb is SLI is not worth it. No. Yeah. And in, in terms of what you're paying for. Just get just get a single card. Just get the single yeah. best card you can. You like paying double and you either get ten percent improvement, zero, or double. Like it's just it's all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, I also see a lot of people wondering what that is. Th- this will be Sean's spot. Um, so we had to, I didn't want to go back to using the three person overlay because it's a lot of work because I would have had to put in a shit ton of new character information. Uh, so we're just using the five person overlay and then day nine will join us, uh, I think on Tuesday. Um, his character is already created. His shit show of a character is already created. He didn't he roll, roll. He didn't roll poorly. He did roll his stats. He just roll. Oh, yeah. He's he's the most average rolled character on the show. I yeah, everything average. everything is slightly <laughs> above average. It was like God. a bunch of elevens, a bunch of twelves, and like one fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> he rolled better than Max, though, at least. Everyone rolls better than Max. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you want to watch that character creation, it's on uh, Patreon for a buck. Um, what what race did he go with, Adam? He's uh, Earth Earth Genasi. Okay, he's an Earth Genasi wizard. So he kind of went with the non min max spec. We'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's, cool? a, he, he's, a, he's a wizard, so he's just going to like stand. Yeah. He's, he's going to be at less likelihood to die, but when he dies, it'll be sudden. Yeah. 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 Exactly. One stray hit and he's dead. Yeah. Pretty much. He has six HP. I know that much. Oh Although I think he's supposed to have eight, eight, eight he HP. Has eight. Yeah, he has eight HP. Next. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if we can crack his neck. Yeah. yeah, we'll try to crack his next time. <laughs> uh, Adam, what have you been up to? You've been you've been messing around. You've been building computers and building computers. Yeah, all all at Me once. Too. My new my new PC showed up, and I got my PS uh, PS Pro. I got the Pro like at the beginning of the week, like a bunch of time, a bunch early. Yeah, you which, got it Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, it showed up Tuesday morning. Um, which like if that was software, might have been interesting, but it's just like okay, it's a PlayStation. But yeah. in that time, I got to play some. I haven't had a PS4 in a long time. I got one at launch, and then I don't have one now. And I got to go back and play some stuff. I played Journey, and we mm. played Until Dawn. Um, it's fun going back and digging into that stuff. But there's so much like, it feels weird to have to own a console for the like few exclusives that come out in a year. Yeah, you know, like they're getting less and less. It seems. Though I guess Sony's got some good stuff coming out that's just Sony soon, so I'm gonna yeah. play that. Has anyone tried? Speaking of Until Dawn, has anyone tried the the, the VR thinger for those of you guys that have it? I have yep. the PSVR. I haven't tried it though. I know. I think Maximilian said it was good. Yeah, I yeah, played it during Horror Month. It was. It's all right. It's like a. It's an on rails shooter, and you like shoot enemies that pop up or in the environment. It, I finally now okay. have a Vive. So well, I mean that would be PSVR though, right? PSVR, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah. I wanted to pick that up anyways just to, <clears throat> for exclusive stuff like that but um, yeah. it's alright also it, it, tell me uh, what Vive stuff I should try because I, I haven't really other than doing like the, a little bit of like you know the job simulator thingy or whatever it was uh, let me let me <laughs> uh, open up Steam I can tell you there's uh, literally a Vive in the background behind the screen screen we've got I, uh, I, I just vibe, haven't touched man. it it's in a box I also have I have several Vives uh, <laughs> on here and a Learjet and yeah. a Lamborghini six Lamborghinis yeah <laughs> Listen, Can I held off for a really long time before deciding to be like, all right, I should do this. Uh, what is good? Elite Dangerous is all right. If you're into that, it takes a little bit of setting up. Hover Junkers is really good. Uh, Job Simulator, which you've had. Onward is really good. Probably one of the better uh, VR experiences out there. It's like Counter-Strike, but in VR. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Uh, Pool Nation VR is good. Raw Data is good. Soundstage is fun if you like making music. And by oh. that, I mean you actually like making, like, you like <laughs> actually making music. Not like fucking, like, it's not rock band. It's like, you're going to take this fucking synthesizer. It's a 3D, and, 3D sequencer, right? And yeah, like make, it, make, and, make and take this plug and plug it in there. And then you're going to make the beats in front of you. And then you're going to plug in a speaker over here to the right. And that's going to play, like, you actually fucking, like, really make music. It teaches what you how was, to do that stuff. What was oh. the name of that? There was a there was a sequencer game that came out for the, the Korg DS-10. There was that, yeah, and there was one for the the PSP too. There was this like, and it was like backed by some rapper. God, what was that called? I don't know. I, don't, I never played yeah. that one. I played with both of those things, and yeah, it's the same way where you're like, ooh, this is fun for about ten minutes, and then if you're not actually like serious about making music, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Never, <laughs> never done that one. Never mind. Uh, and there's another game called Audio Shield. It's pretty fun. Yeah, Audio Shield's good. Yeah, yeah, that's mm. a good one. Uh, Vanishing Realms is pretty fun if you want like an actual RPG that you have to swing a sword and shit how, in. How long do you think it'll take for them to actually like come out with like, proper like? Give me like a like like say like ten hour experience where it's like you know crazy. A couple of years. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the price is more reasonable for more people, I think. Yeah, they they have to have people to play that. It seems like in, right now it's just kind of like bite-sized stuff. Where it's like, this is neato, right? Pretty much, you know? yeah. Vanishing Realms was about three and a half hours of like an RPG where you're walking around and like getting spells and shooting shit with arrows. and That sounds cool. That, that was pretty cool. Vanishing I enjoyed that. Realms. Yeah, it's probably one of the better VR experiences right now. Um, I'm so like pretty much still pretty VR. Someone I saw mm. ported uh, Red Alert 2 into VR in the Unreal Engine. The oh, fuck? And like, uh, why? How did that work? I don't know. Like, it's a, uh, it's you're, you're like a, like a, like a god. Like you're playing a god game basically, but it's an RTS, and you're like putting down the different buildings and like controlling the units as they go off to fight and stuff like that. That sounds pretty cool way to play an RTS. Yeah. There, the, if uh, yeah. what is that game called? There, there is an RTS. VR game that I forget the name of. Uh, maybe it's Out of Ammo. I think it's Out of Ammo, which is actually made by the DayZ guy. Um, but it's a, it's mm -hmm. like a, and you can also like go down into the, you take over a, a person on the ground, and then it like teleports you down onto that level, which is kind of cool looking around. Um, oh, cool. Can we get a mi Minority Report uh, game? Just you just want a Minority Literally Report game? Just, just womp, womp, womp. Yeah, <laughs> solve pre crime. That'd be exactly. Fun. You can also play Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, the actual yeah, real version of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Is there is there a version of uh, Thumper you can play on the the Vive? Because that, that game is I think awesome. I think you can play Thumper on the Vive, yeah. yeah. I played it on PSVR. Yeah. The demo version. Yeah, I was uh I only played it on the PlayStation, but they have a four K version out now for the PS Ooh. Pro. So yeah, and that game's nice to look at, so that'd be pretty cool. Uh, is it VR? I'm trying to see. Uh, I don't think it's VR on on Vive. Mm, yeah, I think it's yeah, only might, on. Uh, yeah, PS it might be Pro. locked for PS uh, PSVR. Yeah, that was fun on PSVR. I actually enjoyed that. I hope they make a D and D VR experience where someone can DM. They they have versions of it. It's, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a ways before we get to a place where that's um like viable. Like they could do a D and D style game, but like even the kind of tr attempts to make D and D games on PC have like fallen real short. Just because yeah. the kinds of stuff that you want to capture from a D and D game, you can't really like translate that to a computer game in the same way. There'll be yeah. an awkward like middle period where it's like, cool, it's like playing D and D, but you have to look like one of these four fighters. Yeah, you know? yeah, we've had like, uh, we've had a couple people reach out to us to to try to jump into like the whole D and D VR thing. But it's very basic. It's like, hey, put on a headset and then sit at a table and play. Like, I want to like play. I, I want to play like a fucking MMO where you're an actual yes. character. Like, that yeah. I mean, cool. I think I think the thing is, it's all tabletop simulator style, where it's like, okay, the VR you're experiencing isn't the VR of your character in a world. It's the experience of you at a table with people and you're picking up dice and moving them around. And it's kind of like that. I don't yeah. know. And for me, it doesn't add as much. I also still think that like it's hard to not make that clunky. Yeah, you know, with like the physics of it. I'm rolling a d20. Yeah, yeah. rolling a d20. Ah, it fell off the table. Great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Max, by the way, accounting. It's free, and it's from the uh, writer of um, Rick and Morty. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, and it's really it's funny. Portland, right? Yeah, it's it's really. I heard that was really funny. That's good. really funny. It's good. Um. But apart from that, there's it's still kind of like lackluster, man. Yeah. Waltz of the Wizard is kind of a cool little demo. That's free. <clears throat> uh, I haven't done the body VR. What is that? I don't know if I want to click on this. <laughs> body VR is an educational virtual reality experience that takes the user inside the human body. That's kind of cool. That might be kind of fun. That'd be cool for educational stuff. What, what's like it called? That? Yeah, it's like Fantastic Voyage. Yeah, it's called the body VR. Body VR. It's like oh, magic school bus VR. Give me that. Pretty much. I mean, that's what <laughs> yeah, this looks like. We have Miss Frizzle. Welcome to our VR. <laughs> that's pretty much what I'm looking at right now. So, yeah, VR VR will take a while. 
That was less Miss Frizzle and more Mickey Mouse. I don't know what that was. Yeah, I was, was going to say, I don't remember Miss Frizzle sounding like that, but whatever. Yeah. I, I'll trust you. I'll trust you. Listen, it's been a long time since yeah. I've heard Miss Frizzle. All I know is crazy, crazy suits, crazy like, you know, pants suits. Someone, someone did crazy a really suits, good. Weird, uh, in total control over reality. Apparently. Yeah. Someone did a really good uh, Miss Frizzle uh, Halloween costume this year that I saw on Reddit or something like that. I was. Yeah. That's the last time I saw Miss Frizzle was on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's. I think that be, stuff might be on Netflix. Be real now too. careful about statements like that, though, because what part of Reddit did you see this Miss Frizzle on? That's JP? true. Yeah. This is just during Halloween. It was, uh, you know, it was safe for work. There was no nefarious <laughs> jizzle. No, no, <laughs> no. That was her husband in the photo. All right, that wasn't her. But uh-huh. uh, Max, do you remember what your character sounds like in Court of Swords? I was literally saying that before. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> Uh, Berg, some yeah. something like that. That, yeah, that's very. I think that's pretty much right. Yeah, yeah. Is this is this sounding right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Does it sound so. dumb enough? Deep and dumb. That's how deep it and dumb. Maybe a little bit slower. Yeah. How I like them. <laughs> deep yeah. and dumb. <laughs> wow. Jeez. That's another Jeez. thing I was on Reddit about. Is what? yeah, exactly. <laughs> Slash R slash deep and dumb. Don't go there. It's probably very bad. I'm I'm gonna go check it. Let's see what it is. <laughs> <laughs> that is always though like a question of mine like after you haven't done the show or a show in a while oh, yeah i'm like, just like how does how does he sound <laughs> so, yeah. so when i was when i was playing uh, I was my, my playthrough of uh valhalla the like cyberpunk like um uh, uh, bartender sim it's like basically a visual novel i'm reading all the stuff do all the voices but i only played it like once a week and i always drank while i played it so uh-huh. every time i go back a week later i'm like what the who is this guy sound like <laughs> Uh, let's just make up a funny voice. I don't care. I guess yeah, everybody's drunk again it. and then it comes right back. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, well, good. I'm glad everyone remembers the character, how they sound. Uh, do you remember where we're at? I do. I remember. I, I remember. Okay, good. Yeah, we're standing we over up. some corpses. <laughs> it's hard to forget. <laughs> yeah, we we're standing up. over a bunch of fucked up corpses in front of us right now. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, as a matter of, of recap, generally, um, you are on a cleanup mission to fix a mistake that uh, your handler perceived you making in the very first thing you were assigned to do, uh, during which uh, rest his rest his beautiful soul, Wester, um, soon outside a cave, uh, but left alone there with his uh, magical tracking shackle thing. Um, so his body was retrieved by some guards from the town uh, who came to investigate the murder of their uh, their companions and uh, returned to uh, the formerly aptly named Peaceful Spring. Now they're probably going to need to rename this town. Um, and uh, yeah, and so you, uh, you sent in uh, your stealthy friend Janice to investigate, and investigate he did, uh, and was knocked unconscious uh, and held hostage by a very panicky monk and some friends. Uh, you hoboed your way in there, and then there was a hostage situation, and the dice did not play nicely with the poor, fragile neck of Janice, uh, who was uh, killed killed in the moment. And uh, and then a fight broke out, and now here you are, surrounded by dead cops and a monk uh, who, yeah, panicked and killed your friend. Um, on your way in, you 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 kind of alerted the guards, right? Like the town. You, you, yeah, they're you, on their way, aren't they? Like they're on their way. Yeah, there's there's chaos in the uh, in the town. They know that some some murderous folks have come. So you're in a uh, you're in the back of a blacksmith shop. Uh, there are uh, iron uh, tools sort of laid about. Um, this blacksmith predominantly worked to make tools for like farmers and miners. So like uh, pickaxes and that kind of thing. So there's various uh, tools that are being uh, made, um, and uh, there's a, a big uh, oven. Uh, essentially like a, a forge uh, furnace. And then outside in the room, uh, there's the shop, but there's blood everywhere and arrows sticking out of seven bodies. You got like a, a dozen bodies on you right now. Um, you can escape this, uh, that you can leave the blacksmith shop by one of two ways. You can go uh, out the uh, out the back um, and uh, and into the, the sort of backyard area, or you can go back out through the story into the streets uh, out front. And uh, yeah, we we fade in on that scene. There's blood and corpses everywhere. Now, is the town surrounded by a wall? No, 
No, the town has no wall. Okay. Do. Do you remember, Adam? Yes. Did we take a nap after I was the cat? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, so I don't have any shifts, uh, shape changes available if I cha shape change back into a human. Yeah, it wasn't because you 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 were in, you were as a cat. You went in, uh, you came back. And then there was, I don't think there was a rest between there and, uh, and when Janice went. Or no, no, there was. Cause we waited till the end of the night. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, so, so I still have one. I still have one. Shape change. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Fantastic. Um, mm -hmm. so yeah, I guess, I guess we like cut in right after I just gnawed this guy's fucking neck off. Like, mm -hmm. uh, and maybe I'm like on top of him, fucking still eating them. And then I change back and, uh, Turn to to Ramus and just say, "We need to loot everything. And get out." Yes, in the words of a wise man, we are fucked. We need to get out of here asap. Yeah, Berg, grab grab things. Grab uh, Ramus. Tell him how to grab something important uh, in yep. a way that he'll understand. I'm going to start. Uh, what just about start Janice? <laughs> just start looting. Janice is unfortunately sleeping. I'm aware. I need this. Oh yes, we need to we need to cut off his his bracelet. It's a very we'll good. We'll have point. to be back. Uh, Berg, would you do the honors and uh, just you know relieve him of his hand so we can get it off? I will do what needs to be done. And Berg, I'm Berg shuffling over with his just long sword, and he's just like. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're, yeah. What are you gonna do? You've got your cut off his hand at the wrist and okay. just grab it. Yeah, he's got he's got the bracelet on. That's like you know part of his forearm. So you gotta cut it kind of at the elbow and then pull it off the yeah. the chopped off end. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it takes it takes a couple of swings to like, get through the bone and then you yank the the thing off. So while you're doing that, uh, Ramus, what are you doing? Um, I am looting the bodies that around for anything valuable. Yeah, that's. Both me and Ramus are doing that. Emptying the shops register if it has one. Or... <laughs> <laughs> you're going, you're going deep, dude. Yeah, I mean, if if we might as well, you know, we're right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me uh, let's let's let me just see here. What's your uh, passive perception, uh, everybody? Um, where does one see that? That's uh, ten plus ten plus whatever your uh, perception. Mine's uh, thirteen. Mine's twelve. No. Oh. Negative. Okay. Well, eight. I'll assume by the seventeen you just rolled that we don't. We, nothing. Wait, no, perception is zero, so it's ten. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. So you're uh, you're gonna go. The the shops uh, close. So there isn't like a register, but there's a there's a chest in this room, uh, Ramus. Mm -hmm. uh, this would be where he would keep the money uh, that the shop makes. It's over by his desk. Uh, so yeah, you go over there. It's it's locked. Like you can't uh, you can't just open it. Um, but the shopkeep doesn't seem to be around. Like you didn't. You look at the bodies and they're all like guards and stuff. There's no there's no dead blacksmith mm -hmm. uh, in the room. Um, so wherever he is, he's probably got the key. As I'm like looting the monk, uh, feel free to tell me what I find. But also, I, I turn to Ramus as I see him go for the cash register and say that that's a great idea. Steal it. We'll make it look like a simple robbery. Just take whatever you can. They'll think that we just robbed the place. Yeah, that was my idea. Yeah. Sure. Make look, it look I, like. I don't give know. a shit. I know you're a criminal. All right. Just do whatever you need to do. It's a great plan. Hey, I am challenged, first. not a criminal. <laughs> look, <laughs> <Okay>. whatever. <laughs> all right. So you're, you're all real focused doing this. Um, and uh, yeah, the monk, I think the monk only has his, uh, his like holy symbol. Um, but the holy symbol is worth probably 20 gold. It's uh, it's a gold inlaid and platinum in bits in there. It's the symbol of the sun. Okay. I marked that down. Uh, and then Janice's body. Do we, uh, yeah, let's see what, what Janice had on him. Uh, Although, so you, what he had of value. You roll the body of your dead friend, rest in peace. Um, oh, friend is a strong word. Uh, he had, uh, some arrows, he had thieves tools. He had 95 gold. I'm going to take that 95 gold. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, look, I look at the arrows and I throw those. Look yeah. at the thieves tools. Yeah, yeah maybe. It. The gold glints in the corner. I grab the, the fucking gold. gold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. So you grab you grab uh, Janice's uh, gold uh, pouch of gold, uh, and it's, it's got some heft to it. Like ninety five gold's not nothing. Doesn't he? Does he have any more of the? He got rid of all of his pelts and spices, didn't he? Yeah, he mm-hmm. sold them. Yeah, yeah, he sold them. Berg's thinking in his head like I could really use those. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Berg, could you try to hit this thing and see if you can open it? What do you suggest? Right. It, if you just give it a good whack. Or shuffles over there and like actually kind of quickly does it because he wants to get the fuck out. Okay. Yeah, I think after he does that, if I'm if this is happening at the same time, I'm like running to a window to try to look outside, having mm-hmm. known that we just were like ran in here in the middle of the town. Used to trail through, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, while that's while that's happening, um, you're on your way over to the door, and before Berg, you you know you, your sword still dripping with uh, Janice's arm blood, uh, you're walking towards the chest. Uh, you hear uh, the sound of the door, like right to your left, uh, Berg, as you're walking over. Uh, the door that leads out into the back, uh, you hear it rattle, like someone's pulling on the um, uh, on the handle or something, like, like rattles in its uh, its frame. Berg <laughs> hears this. Yeah, it's like right next to you, Berg, okay. as you yeah, because you're standing nearest to the door. Berg kind of s- says himself, "Shit," and motions over to the others. There's someone there. Could be the guard, for all we know. Could be the owner. I, we don't know. Can, can you see out the window? Oh, yeah. So um, there's there's a couple of like low set windows around the, the outside of this room. They're they're shuttered though. You'd have to open them uh, to look outside. Is it worth me looking? Uh, as, as I look, I just kind of like look at him in the corner of my eye and open up the window a little bit. <laughs> what do I see? Uh, what side of the, there's three, there's three walls. Um, there's the, the back wall. There's a wall on the left and, and right that have windows on them. Which, where are you at? Which window are you opening? Uh, I think, I think is whatever window I'm closest to from Loon the Bodies, I guess. I, I okay. just go to a window. Sure. Hopefully, right, so looking the... back, I, I want to basically be looking back into the center of the town, to whatever mm-hmm. my knowledge is of that. The the front of this building faces the center of the town. That's probably uh, where I would go then. No, you'll have to leave this room then. You have to go out. I don't the, leave like, this room. <laughs> yeah. so you can you can open the the window and you can peer out and like look forward. I've got a map for this. I don't know why I'm I'm awkwardly describing everything. Okay. I mean, also, we take you over to the shop. You can. We didn't recover Wester's. Apple, right? No, like, uh, so here, yeah, right? that that ended we were up told going, where it was. It, it, yeah. It's going, yeah, it's going to the fort, uh, to the monastery uh, to be examined by the monks there. Yeah, so they totally have it, and we're fucked. <laughs> uh, they left. They left like tonight, though. So if you go immediately from the town and then like start running down the road, you might be able to catch them because they're they're taking a wagon. Uh-huh. So um, Gideon, you are on that that right hand side. You peer out there, look up and down. Uh, you can see some like buildings nearby, but uh-huh. you don't see you don't see any guards or anything. Um, it's dark, and you're human though, so yeah. Uh, you can make a perception check. You're at disadvantage because there's dim light from like the moon and the stars. All right, I'll I'll do it. Okay. Why didn't it roll? Do I need to? Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Seventeen, sixteen, sixteen. Not okay. Bad. Um so with the 17, yeah, you look all around like everything in your field of vision. Um you maybe hear uh some like the sound of like bells or something like further away in the town. Um but you don't you don't see anybody. There's no guards lurking in anywhere around here. Um yeah. This this side this side of the building is clear. I I turn to the rest of the group and say maybe we should light this building on fire. I agree. Distract, let's do, leave. Dis- distraction, it maybe? It would serve as a distraction if we could. Unless we're not already surrounded by people. Uh, yeah, I, I go and grab uh, some pieces of uh, wood from the fire and just start throwing them about the room. As long as they're not burning. Like, I'm not going to grab a burning piece of wood. <laughs> sure. So there's, yeah, there's the, the forge. It's a Bird big... does that. Bird grabs <laughs> one. Yeah, I mean, it, it, looks like a, it looks like a fireplace on this map, but um, it's actually like a, a big kind of um, stone. Like, it sticks out into the, uh, into the outside. There's a much bigger chimney. Um, but the front of it is still the same size. It's a little five-foot opening. And you, um, you can see inside it's a yeah, very hot forge. Um, there's a pile of wood uh, next to it that you can, you can feed into the forge. Um, but, uh, 
Yeah, there's it's just kind of like low right now because he keeps it burning all the time, but it's not at full heat. It's a big bellows you can use to pump it up. But yeah, I if if what if I go open this door slightly, what do I see? The door right here leading onto the main room. That door. Um, okay, so you walk over and you you crack the door and peer out into the room. Um, make a uh, make another perception check for me, please. All this right. one's not. This one's not. This is, well, no, it's dim light. You don't have a torch or anything. Yeah, go ahead and disadvantage on this one. It's like lagging. I, I clicked perception. I'm just waiting. Oh fuck. Eight. Okay. So you, you crack it open. You peer into the room. Um, you don't look too far because I mean I assume you don't want to just like swing it open and look around. Right. Uh, yeah. You don't. Uh, you don't see anything uh, out, of, out of the ordinary or unexpected at least. You see like a body with an arrow sticking out of it. But okay. I, I think uh, Ramus is taking a look around the desk to see if he sees any notes from the people that were occupying this room or anything of importance. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that door a- wouldn't be there, would it? Because we, we fucking destroyed that door coming in the room, didn't we? Or he, like, pushed it open, at least. Yeah, I think you kicked it open. It's probably broken, the okay. door, but it's not, like, blown away completely. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so, Ramus, you uh, you want to take out, you start, like, looking through the papers. Yeah, there's a big ledger yeah. big ledger on the table that tracks every order made and every piece of equipment uh, crafted. Um, there's a couple of, like, bl- sort of blueprints, uh, some special order type things, like, tacked above on the wall above the desk. But at a glance, uh, nothing. Uh, yeah, nothing that would indicate any any additional information. Okay. Um, I think that we should get out of here as soon as we can. We don't have much time. Can I use Ooh. druid craft to start a fire? Um, I think so. I mean, you've, you've got a fire going uh, in the forge. Yeah, but, but like, it's not going to spread that quickly, is it? Uh, I mean, that's what fire does. <laughs> like you can, you can take a piece of firewood, light it, and then just huck it on the floor. The carpet will light on fire. Uh, the floor is wood. Um, the desk okay. is covered in paper. Great. Uh, yeah. There's, I, there's, I actually, go... there's actually like a little like lantern on the desk, which is full of oil. Okay. Yeah. I, I go and grab the, the wood, the piece of firewood and the lantern and say like, we're leaving. Are you ready? Berg, you got everything? Yes. Toting Janice's hand. Ramus, what? You don't need his hand. We just need the bracelet. <laughs> I like yeah. grab the bracelet. <laughs> it's like just dripping blood. Yeah. I like grab the bracelet and he's throw just, the head back. Didn't even think about it. He's just holding the hand. <laughs> yeah. Be like, all right. And there's someone rattling on the door, right? Uh, just once. There was just one like like rattling. Mm. Berg, you're going out first. Yeah, Berg. We need you to do what you do best. Okay. okay i like throw the oil against the wall behind us and then uh dash out of the room with berg at the helm which uh, which door are you dashing out of the one that goes outside that got rattled on or are you going through the other one this Alan? is well this is away from the town right this is into the town down here uh, in the south no the the front door is the way that goes to town this is like a side door uh that leads out into like a little backyard area where he keeps the wagon shit okay well Fuck it. I turn into We're a brown in bear and run out this door. <laughs> I just roar really loudly, hoping to distract these people. Uh, wait, <laughs> where are you running out of? Which door? This Dang door it. right here. I, I'm, take, I'm taking the lead. I, I basically just like shove Berg to the side, brown bear, then just like slam down on the door. Okay, give me uh, give me one second to make you a, a brown bear version of you. Okay. I assume that's the most intimidating compared to a tiger and a wolf because they saw a tiger run in, so... Yeah, it's <laughs> a good idea. There's Gideon there. So okay, you're barreling out the door. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this situation has become unbearable. Mm. Yeah. Right, there we go. It's going to be quite a grisly sight. <laughs> oh, God. Just stop. Dan's really good at uh, puns. You met your match now. I love it. It makes me really happy. Um, okay. So there you go. Gideon, you've got, you got access to the brown bear version of you. Uh, I will find a token. <laughs> Uh, for you, and then we can rock it out here. <laughs> That's a cool looking bear. Here we go. Is that an acceptable bear token? You see that there? Yeah, that sure, works. that works. Can I have control um, of it? Uh, give, yes, me the, so. give me control. Give me control. <laughs> give me the bear. Like, <laughs> kind of looks like a slightly like, possessed bear. Yeah, yeah. He's, he is possessed by the spirit of Gideon. Give me the fucking bear. <laughs> All right. Come right up, bear. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, I got the bear. All right. Uh, and then let me give you your hit points. And hopefully, like in real life this time, the Cubs will win. Can we uh, hear your best bear noise? No. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to do it. All right. Uh, let me know when you need your other token. <laughs> I'll step it onto the, the GM layer. Okay. Um, all right. So, so the order in which things happen here. So place, place yourselves on the, in the room where you are when Gideon the bear bursts out into the, uh, uh, into the outside. I'm just going to be like right behind him. Yeah. Like on the side, I guess. I'm, I mean, I can't really cause these boxes here, but yeah. So you're just going to be right beside him as he, as he bursts out. Yeah. Actually, Max, you just hear me go, the bears. <laughs> <laughs> and then I open the right before you switch into it, just the bears. The bears. That's what, that's what you're saying as you transform. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, awesome. Thanks, okay. Chat. Thanks for that. So, so what you see, uh, bear, bear Gideon, uh, when you get your when you get your bear ass outside, uh, you oh, see uh, two guards um, standing one uh, behind the uh, uh, this cart here. Uh, and then the other kind of around the corner. And when you burst out, uh, the one farthest from you, uh, like shouts, not even like a command, just in surprise. Uh, and then the two of them uh, attack you. Okay. So watching the door, waiting for someone to come out. Um, I guess I should also light this room on fire. Um, yeah, in the back. I threw it against like that wall, probably. Okay, cool. I'll, uh, I'll, grab, a, I'll grab a fire to throw over there. Brown bear um, Gideon. And then, uh, yeah, and then they're gonna they're gonna attack you with their with their. Weapon. This is a matter of curiosity. Is there anything in D and D like you know that could just blast out a fucking wall? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah fire yeah. dude. Like, wizards are fucking crazy. Yeah, at higher at higher levels, you can do all kinds of that. that Max, crazy. let me paint you a picture of the great uh, Zanzel. All right, Zanzel <laughs> once killed forty people with a single spell. Mm -hmm. Yep. Who's Zanzel? Look, look him up, man. He's one of the <laughs> he's one of the all time greats. Is this a character that you played, perhaps? Maybe, look, we're we're in the now. All right, let's not talk about it. Man. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> let's not relive the past. Bring this later. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. So the a fire a fire has started burning. Oh, here's an even better fire. That one's a ball of fire. Uh, okay. So fire has started to burn over on this uh, this side of the the house. Um, I'll I'll have it spread as it spreads on the floor and like lights that carpet on fire and stuff. But you burst out. The two guards are are waiting and ready. And uh, let's let's see if they can hit you. What's your uh, what's your armor class? In uh, let's in just here? roll the dice, please, Adam. Let's just roll the dice. <laughs> it is quite low because you are a, uh, you're a bear. All right, so two crossbow shots at uh, Yon Bear. Aren't crossbows D eights? Uh, yes, they oh are. My oh my god! Oh, hello, welcome hey, back to, welcome back to Court of Swords. Oh, thank you, thank you for coming. Oh. Welcome back, everyone. Good to be here. First tip your, roll, tip your waitress. Well, that was almost another one. Yeah, uh, that's right. a hit. Two hits. Yep, two hits. All right. And one. Uh, well, two hits, one crit. So the crit does you. Uh, Great. That. One point off max damage. And then the second one does another six. Two points off max damage. So that's uh, fifteen. That's twenty-one damage right off the bat. Yeah. So you just rah, come bursting out Woo! of the door. The door slams open. These two quarrels jab into your lovely bear flesh. And uh, and then there's like yeah like shouting and uh, and and alarm. So let's roll uh, some initiative, uh, shall we? Uh, the uh, the order is clear. So just go ahead and uh, select your token. Oh, we still have to roll initiative. Okay. Click your click your initiative there. Yeah. Uh, I already dealt twenty one damage. Why is my roll twenty lagging so bad? You know, I want to say it's good to be back. Hey, uh, that big old two. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Big old two. Come on, come on. Big bucks, no whammy. Stop. What is it? I can't look. I literally can't look. Uh, there it is. You got a 15. You got a 15. Tie the, the guards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, uh, Ramus. Flying into a barbarian rage, by the way. Mm -hmm. Ramus, my friend, uh, what would you like to do? There's a, a fire uh, on the. Uh, I'm actually going to set. Uh, we'll do it on on uh, uh, Gideon's turn because he like the fire. I will. I I do want to challenge this. Is this area lit? Challenge the play. Outside. Yeah. Um. Yeah. 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 It's it's dimly lit. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make like, sure like, they wouldn't have disadvantage on their attack. Oh yeah. No. No. They um like like when you were looking outside, consider the whole area dimly lit because there's moon and stars and it's a clear night, so okay. you can see. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Ramus will start by uh, giving the sun's blessing to all three of his party members and himself by casting Blessed on them all. Fantastic. So uh, what does uh, Blessed do? Uh, I'll Ramus, it. Is it... It's uh, D5 on attack rolls and saving throws. Fucking blesses us, man. It makes us awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah, so make sure you're at a D4 uh, to whatever yeah, attack D4 roll is. Yep, fucking uh, sick. So long, so long as Ramus is able to maintain concentration up to one minute, so 10 rounds. So bless. Attack rolls, yeah. Put in there, yep. Yeah, and statement throws. Yeah. All so, right. Uh, and then that's, but I move to make sure I hit Gideon with the bless and then move back in the cover it's behind the wall. Okay, great. Sounds good. Uh, Berg, mighty Berg. Berg's charging out behind the bear. Uh, so, coming straight out of the door, would he be seeing this motherfucker behind that? Like, what I have seen with these yep. arrows? Yeah, yeah. Consider, just pretend like the wood part of that door isn't there. Like, it's just been broken off and is, like, kind of hanging on its hinges. And you can see across, yeah, there's a guy crouched down. He's got three-quarters cover behind the wagon. And then this guy is kind of, like, around the right. corner. So, he's got, like, half, kind of half cover. So on he's it. flying into a barbarian rage coming out the, out the, out the gate here. Okay. Um. How big is this wagon, and would it be possible for Berg to try to attempt to, like, just flip that thing over on top of the guy? To, oh, like, Jesus. Uh, I mean, you could try. It'd be like a DC 20 strength check. Okay. Ooh. Which means you'd have to roll a 20 or higher for it to be possible. Fucking shit. It's heavy. Yeah, it's a heavy cart. Big, no, I was trying to get an idea of how big it was. Okay, well, if it's not big and Berg, yeah. He's just going to go run straight at this guy, then, in the straightest path he can. Um Okay. Uh, so, uh, oh, if, he, if he's on the wagon, would he have high ground? Yeah, uh, that's what I was yeah, just I mean, If you, like, if you run like, and you're like standing on the wagon above him, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd give you an attack. Yeah, I mean, Berg's in a rage. He's going direct path, so he's going to try to just go up on top of the wagon and like literally take long sword and just rah. Okay, so if you want to jump up on the wagon as part of your, uh, as part of your move, uh, why don't you roll uh, an athletics check? Athletics or acrobatics, whichever you prefer. Let's uh, fall on our face, boys. Yeah, do you see the leap up into the wagon from the side? Like that's, it's like kind of, I mean, you're tall, right? So yeah, it's, he's a big guy. Let's say uh, DC, um, DC so four, It's like four, a massive wagon. It shouldn't be D too hard. DC 14, it's doable. Okay. Does, does it get a D, is it a saving throw, right? No, it's a, uh, it's a skill, skill check. Fuck. So athletics. Or, so bless or doesn't or bless athletics. doesn't matter here. I got yeah. plus five in athletics here. So all right, good luck. Give it a shot. Here we go. Boom. And um, I'm gonna check for something with rage too, because you might have. Late. All right, oh great. God. Fucking fantastic. Um, you have advantage on strength checks, but neither of those are good. Um, great. So unfortunately, Berg, you end your turn in front of the uh, in front of the wagon you end your move but you, still another, you still got another move you don't get your whole turn lost but you're prone and you're like in front of the wagon so you you run up oh prone to... is actually great here sorry yes, no, you won't get shot but you can get up and take uh, another uh 15 feet of move but yeah you you come running try to vault up onto it maybe your boot gets caught on the edge and you tumble down behind the wagon okay so i'm still like right where i'm at on the map yeah but now you're on your butt can i make it to him if i get up and you got uh, what? Thirty feet of movement. Yeah. So five, ten. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. You can. You'd have to be here, or here. Yeah. Uh, either of those is, is fine. Okay. I'm gonna go right here. I can attack then. Yeah. Uh, no. No. That's that's your whole turn. It was one oh, move fuck. to get to the well, wagon. There's no point doing that. Okay. That's that's but the other. He's a rage, so he's gonna do it because he wants okay. to get close and close the gap. Okay. So when you come around that corner, uh, Berg, you you see that it's not there isn't just two guards. There's a third uh, Fuck guard. Me. I'm shit ass um, motherfucking bitch. So this this third guard back here, Based on that um, guy. he's wearing he's wearing a uh, he's wearing a mask actually. Um, so uh, yeah, he's got he's got a, a hood up and he's got this kind of like demon looking like scary mask thing on. Yeah, and you it's notice, magical for sure. He's yeah. not, yeah, he's not carrying a spear or a crossbow like these other guys. And mm -hmm. I think actually when you look over at him, he's like got his hands up and there's like runes kind of like hanging in the air between them. Uh, and he, you lock eyes with him and he just kind of like gets ready to, to do a thing. Oh, is what he uh, says. But the uh, the guard nearest you uh, is going to attack you. Um, so he, uh, yeah, he, he slings his crossbow, grabs his spear and lunges at you with it. What's your HP, Max? It's uh, 13 and armor AC of uh, 17. Hey, you don't get hit. 
Yep. So it doesn't hit you, just lunge at you, you, you dodge out of the way and like knock his uh, spirit. The uh, the guard at the far end takes another shot at the uh, at the bear. Oh. How about a crit? Hey, oh, that's okay. a hit. Gets an 11. Bill? Holy fuck. I have 11. I see, yeah. Jesus. He's got a ton of hit points, but he is a bear. Yeah, three. So three, three damage. Um, and then Ramus, uh, Ramus, my, my dear friend, uh, you... Uh, you hear the door, the other door, bang open, and uh, two guards. Oh my God! Uh, come rushing into the room. Okay. Is this door still open? Uh, both doors are now open. Okay. Yeah. He's us. Okay. So the guard that rushes you attacks you with a spear. So these two guards come in the other way. Uh, one of them lunges at you with a spear and gets a crit. Right. Pins you to the wall with the spear, dealing 11 damage. Are you down? Fuck me! God damn it! And uh, the the other guard uh, that, that pops in, he fires his crossbow at you. And this one looks like he's going to miss. Yeah, and that's a miss. So he doesn't have a clear shot. His friend is, like, rushing you. What's your HP now? Uh, let's see. This is... <laughs> six. Shit. So we got like one more round. Uh, okay, uh, Gideon, Gideon the brown bear. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna save Ramus to the best of my ability, I guess, and try to attack this guy right here. So I jumped out of the door. <laughs> Second later, fucking a guy just comes in and like spears Ramus directly in his heart. I turn around and attack that guy. Okay. Uh, so I get uh, two attacks with multi-attack, which mm -hmm. is uh, one bite and one claw. So here is the bite. Okay. 19. Oh, fucking Christ. Okay. Um, oh, uh, also, Ramus, uh, you need to make a concentration check for oh, your yeah. blast spell. Well, I rolled the damage, and it's not... Did it's, it roll? It rolled 20 is being real laggy right now. Yeah, it is being a little leggy. Um, do you want to? How much do you want to just roll the damage as, as dice? What? Try to reach. Uh, what? What? Like a savage? <laughs> it doesn't. Uh, it, what is my damage? Uh, bite damage is uh one d six plus two, uh, and then claw is two d four plus two. Hey, you never know, mate. Maybe you won't get fucked over by roll twenty. <laughs> <laughs> nope. See? Nope. Still gonna get fucked by roll twenty. Uh, three damage. Okay. And then a claw is plus five, so d20 plus five. 20? And uh, Ram Ramus, you're fine for your, your cast. Uh, does uh, 20 yeah. hits, yeah? Yes, yeah, yeah. Nine damage, so he takes 12. Okay, so he takes another, uh, another nine. Okay, yeah, you kill that guard. Okay, I just fucking bite his neck off. <laughs> bite him at the <laughs> neck, turn my head, and just chomp. Okay. And then, like, rip his head oh, off. Yeah. Throw, and I, I throw it over here at the foot of this guy and then just, like, make a fucking loud bear noise, hoping... What the fuck is that, Adam? Oh, my God. Okay. So the uh, the apprentice wizards, uh, these two, um, they oh, get to... little bitch-ass wizards, all right. Um, yeah, I mean, they're not, like, archmages or anything, but keep keep talking big. I shouldn't, I shouldn't <laughs> say that, all right, because I remember we fought a meter maid, essentially, in this world, and he was god tier. So the uh, yeah the one uh, the one here, uh, uh, Ramus he yeah he finishes his conjuration and throws a bolt of blue fire at you, so it hurls across the uh, across the expanse and uh, gets a seven. seven. So he misses. Who's that? At? Dodge it. Um, Is that at me? No, that was at uh, at Ramus. Oh okay. Right, sorry, at uh, Berg. Oh okay. Uh, and then uh, yeah, then the bear gets uh, the same treatment from uh, from the guy out here, so he's gonna throw a firebolt at you. Horrible. That's a hit. Uh, and hits for max Marble's damage. Uh, Can you roll eight. not max damage on me once? It was a D10. I could have dealt 10 damage. You've rolled you've rolled eight, seven, six, eight on your damage. Just saying. And a crit. And a crit. <laughs> are you still are you still in bear form or do you run out of your bear hit points? Uh, I have two bear hit points left. Two bear HP. Okay. All right, uh, cool. So uh, that's one one turn of bless. Uh, Ramus, it's your turn. The guard that was attacking you is now beheaded and lying on the floor. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. this, this is really bad. <laughs> um, hmm. um, oh 
God. Um, Kill something. I know. I got one spell left. Uh, okay, the card will get anything. To I know, I know. <laughs> I'm not trying to rush him, I'm just being silly. I know, like, this is like. Let's die. I mean, we get here. one more round and we all die. Yeah. I, do you think it's better for me to try to kill someone or. Because I don't think a heal is going to help. I mean, what's your biggest heal? Uh, I can heal myself for up to 11. Like, um, I, actually, no, I, I, I don't have that prepared. So I like, I can do D4 plus wisdom. So like, Is that free? I, I can cast. I, I could do it as a, it's a bonus action. So I could do bonus action and cantrip. What's your so, HP? I'm at six. I mean. Oh, yeah. The fire is spreading mm -hmm. um, also. You could you could LOS them inside and come outside and heal. And then these two guys potentially won't. This guy will probably just run out, right? Like, let's look at the movement here. Mm -hmm. This guy will definitely get an attack. That guy, yeah, he can make the door. So they're gonna they're gonna attack us regardless of where we go, unless we go like up here. Yeah. Um so you could technically go that'd be five, five, twenty. You could go right here. But then mm -hmm. you're gonna basically be open to everything. Is it uh, is it touch? <clears throat> Yeah, it's a it's a rain spell. I I only have healing word prepared. Okay. So that's D four plus. And it's a bonus action. Bonus action, yeah. So I could. I think I, could, I think uh, you should heal regardless. It's a bonus yeah. action. I don't know what okay. you do as your other action though. Yeah. Uh. I think for sure I'm going to. Wizards have very low HP, right? They yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh. It probably has like six. Wait a minute. I know what to do. <laughs> yeah, you do. I know what to do. Hit him with that shit. Yeah, I know what, yeah. to, do. I know what to do. Uh, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Hell fuck yeah. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's a dire situation. I'm trying to get okay, them all out. Okay. This I like is it, right? a dire situation. I got I gotta do crazy shit, all right? Uh, shit okay. yeah. What's the plan here? Um, Okay, um, I am going to move here as my movement, and then I'm going to use my AOE, um, my di channel divinity, which hits all enemies within 30 feet uh, of me. Okay. Um, and hopefully wipe them out. You, at least you should. You should heal. You should probably. As well, the one thing I've learned. One thing I've learned is that killing enemies is more important than healing damage. Because like, if they're dead, you want to hear from your cleric. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. The best. Okay. The best defense. If there's one enemy, thing I've right? learned, it's that my healing is bullshit, and I'm gonna kill people. All right. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's fair. Life lesson. Yeah, like, actually, you know I, I, I can. It, it's a bonus action, so I could. I could do that. Yeah, um, it, it okay. Be. So I'm gonna move. Then I'm gonna do my channel divinity, and then I will bonus action heal myself. With the, All right. Let's whatever. see how the channel divinity goes. So, is this? Uh, yeah. I gotta make saves, right? Yes, it's uh, Constitution saves. But they still take damage regardless, right? Yeah, they take half oh. on save. Nice. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, I think that kills the casters regardless. Prove so me wrong. Let's see. DC, DC four. We'll start with the guy, the farthest guy from you. <gasps> mm -hmm. uh, DC thirteen. Oh, fucking dick. God uh, damn it. Fuck you. Okay. Uh, this that? one closest to you. Um, Suck a dick. And then the wizard. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that wizard that, dies. Yeah, that wizard doesn't have 19 Woo! hit points, so he uh, <laughs> he gets killed. Oh, fuck you, Adam, with those saves. The other two take um, nine damage. They weren't horribly hard, though. I guess DC 13 is not that bad. Cool. All right. So sudden blast of of pure sunlight. Um, people cover their eyes. The wizard just blows away. Uh, just turns to turns to dust. Uh, and then you you want to use your bonus action? Uh, yeah, bonus yeah, action to heal myself. Okay. I don't have to worry about being a flank bag oh. goddamn wizard. Six is not bad. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, so 
uh, Berg. It is Berg is going to slice and dice this motherfucker right here with his long sword. And they they still took ten damage. Nine. They damage. took nine. Yeah. Yeah, we're long sword in that. This, the this. So this is uh, is bless still going? So this is yeah. Whatever yeah, I get plus four, four, right? Plus D four is or is this just straight up plus four? Uh, D four. Oh, okay. This and then a roll D four, right? Pwah. 15. Is that okay. enough to hit anyways? Uh, roll the d4. Uh, roll. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah! That's enough to hit. How fuck yeah it is, Adam. <laughs> roll, roll your damage. You're raging too, right? Yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. So you added 10. Oh my god, 10 damage? Yeah, he's, he's totally toast. Fucking <laughs> chop that motherfucker's head off. All right. Yep. Yep, okay. Totally we got two guys left. Two gentlemen. Yes. Okay. Whose turn is it? Is it my turn? It is. The, it's the guards. Um, oh, I don't get to go till after the guards. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, you're a, you're on a two. Um, so the guard, uh, the guard over here is going to shoot Ramus with his crossbow. Twelve. And we got twelve. So he misses. He misses like a little bitch. And then the guard uh, in the other room will shoot at uh, the bear with his crossbow. Miss. Miss. Like a bit. Oh, don't miss. Yeah. But I, um... Okay. Um, so that uh, that first crossbow hits for how much? Um, with that first crossbow? Oh, no, that first crossbow was against you. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're fine. Okay. Um, and then that's it for guards. So. Uh, actually, this one's gonna move. He's gonna move. So he goes. He's over here somewhere. Uh, okay, Gideon, your turn. Let's take a break. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How fuck yeah? Let's do it. <laughs> I gotta figure out what I want to do here. So let's take a break. Uh, and also, it's time. So I'll take a break. Still yeah. got three hours left to go here on Court of Swords. Whatever week it, I I have no idea. This show goes by so four. quick, and that feels like we're dying every week. So I just lose yeah. track of the episodes. Uh, we'll take a break, though, regardless. We'll come back, and we'll see how this fight uh, ends. It's going pretty well, though, after that last move. You're doing, you're doing I'm fine. telling you, you're man. I'm right. just trying. Positive energy. Positive energy. We're doing pretty good. It's not yeah. going. It's not. It started off real bad when I got fucking yeah. billion damage, but it's. we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Don't go to where more quarter swords coming up right after this. We'll see you guys then.